Hello Aries, welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get into your Twin Flame journey reading. Um, this is a reading that I'm going to take a look at um, between you and another person. So we're going to look at your cards and their cards, right? What's going on between you and this connection, this person in your life? Because right? we have many Twin Flame journeys with people. Some are soulmates, some are just Twin Flames. So there is a difference, um, but... In any case, this is a connection, a love connection, a deep or a, a connection of the heart in some way that you have with someone. Well, first of all, I'm going to pull out um, two uh, animal spirits for the both of you. you. You or your person may or may not resonate with either or both animal spirits. All right, Aries, so let's see first what is going on. This is just a seven-day read. We have the butterfly... And the raccoon. All right, so the butterfly and the raccoon. The butterfly is all about transformation, air energy. The raccoon is earth energy. Beautiful. The butterfly is um, the animal spirit for friends and support that comes in, especially when you're going through a transformation, right? Transformation, we associate the butterfly world over with transformation in so many cultures. It's mystical, mystical animal spirit. And, um, but when we talk about, you know, what does it represent? Well, tr transformation is difficult. It's, it can be painful. It can be confusing. And, uh, and with the butterfly here, we talk about <clears throat> being open. It's an air energy, being open of mind. Uh, be trying to communicate during times of transformation and mo most importantly I would say relying on friends and people that you trust and are close to you to help you through this time to help you with that mental stability while you're going through a big change in your life raccoon energy is earth energy the raccoon is very sort of shy right I'm not talking about city raccoons I'm talking about regular you know regularly raccoons like to be behind the scenes Raccoon energy individuals, somebody who doesn't want to be out in the out in the spotlight. They want to be behind the scenes. They're extremely talented. Oftentimes, the raccoon is the animal spirit for the musician or somebody who's an artist with their hands. They can do almost anything with their hands, and they can turn almost any instrument into a tool. Okay, in a very um, practical way. Okay, so. Either you or your person may be resonating with these animal spirits over the next seven days, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. So let's get right into your spread, Aries. What's going on for Aries and their person over the next seven days? And I'll pull some clarifiers as well. Show me some. Aries, you're coming in as death. You see your person as the devil. You desire the world. What needs to happen is strength. Your person is coming in as three of swords. They see you as a six of swords. They desire six of cups, and what needs to happen is a page of swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the hanged man. Oh, wow. Pretty serious reading. Right? Hangman usually comes in when there's great inspiration coming in. All right, guys, so what is exactly going on here for my Aries? A lot of major arcana. Your, your whole row is major arcana. All right, let's get into it. This is going to be a bit tough. You're coming in this week with death. It's huge change, transformation, of course. The butterfly is your animal spirit coming in. Uh, death is also the card. In the tariff with transformation as the butterfly is the animal spirit for it and but with that we talk about the beginning of transformation not the whole process the very beginning of it which is loss the loss of one thing to make room for something else to come in right and so um, you know you're feeling that something is going on with you Aries this next seven days where you're feeling a really acute loss it could be the end of a relationship it could be feeling like the end of a relationship is coming, but there's definitely a death. There's a change of something in your uh, in yourself, 
and we're going to go further and see what this all really truly means for you but it's it's there's a feeling certainly of a huge change coming but right now it's it's kind of the sad part of it which is the loss your person is coming in with three of swords they feel betrayed your person is feeling betrayed by you uh or someone i imagine sometimes these first cards can just represent how each of you are coming in irrespective of each other but let us see I, it could be that um there was a betrayal between the two of you in any case your person is really dealing with a a pain to their heart over the next seven day period okay three of swords is a it's a break of trust a lot of times betrayal doesn't necessarily mean that you've been cheated on per se uh, you know, that's one kind of betrayal. Three of Swords represents many kinds of betrayals. And mostly at the heart of it is a Swords energy, air energy, communication. So somebody has lied in some way. Somebody has broken a promise or they've, you know, they've said one thing and done another thing. And that can, that can involve a lot of different forms. That can come in a lot of different forms. Now, how do you see each other? Here it gets a little bit more interesting. You see them as the devil and they see you as Six of Swords. So for you, you're kind of like, damn, you know, you don't see a lot of good there <laughs> right now, right? Um, yeah, the devil is not a, a bad card, but it, it's the card of being enslaved by your passions, kind of being ruled by that sexual energy, right? Um, that is that is the sort of the warning with the devil card um, is that, you know, where do you... Where do you draw the line? It's the card of excess. It's the card of addiction. It's the card of just playing with fly, fire, playing with the darker side of life without that exaltation to something higher, right? When we have the pentagram upside down, it doesn't mean evil. It just means that th th your goal is not transformation up. It is rather a descending down into more and more of being pulled to earthly desires and passions of being enslaved by them without being able to rise above and so the devil energy right here is that some you know they, they that's what you see you know this person may not maybe somebody who gets you to do a lot of you know shisty stuff all the time or gets you in trouble they see you as a six of swords so for them you are a source of tranquility and harmony and they see in you um i want to say an ability to get away from their own problems. You may be dealing with somebody who kind of depends on you, Aries, to kind of get them away from what they're doing, but they don't realize that they're kind of dragging you down, right? Because for you to have such opposite opinions of each other uh, here in this in this regard, right, is, uh, is quite interesting. Again, you may be dealing with somebody who's unwilling to take no for an answer. In any case, they're let's go further okay let's what do you both desire you desire the world they desire six of cups you want to get back on track with what you're supposed to be doing you may have been waylaid by this person you may have been dating them for quite some time and just woke up and realized whoa you know because what you're wanting is the world you see them as the devil there's a death and what you're wanting is the world and when what needs to happen is strength i'm looking ahead at your other cards and this is a feeling to me of you not necessarily wanting them in your world but you wanting to be back on track to your path what your destined path is and feeling like you're doing the right thing it could be that for some time you've been with this person you weren't feeling like you were on the right path right and again, if you're indulging in devil energy with them, that will make perfect sense. And you may be coming out of that sleep, you know, out of that that stage now where you're realizing, shit, you know, we've been dancing with the devil and having a lot of fun, but um, <clears throat> I don't, I, you know, I want to be back where I'm supposed to be. They desire six of cups. They want to come back to what they had with you. So it feels really strongly to hear to me, like, Six of Cups is also the card for pleasure. They want more intimacy or more contact. It feels to me, Aries, like this is a connection with somebody that is coming to an end for you, and they are not necessarily feeling that. You may have indeed broken up with them or said something to them or, or gone out with somebody else, which they see as a betrayal, but it's not stopping them. They still see you as their ultimate. They still want you, and you're like, uh-uh. What needs to happen? Strength for you and for them, Page of Swords. Well, for them to want the Six of Cups here, soulmate energy, right? I mean, it is like, I don't know. It's, it's as if they feel like they are connected to you and they just want to get back to that good spot. So, but, but for you, 
you're you're not feeling it i feel like you know and it's like you're you're like let me be strong here let me not succumb to whatever that i normally succumb to with them it could be yeah the sex is great or it could be you know insecurities or there might even be gaslighting there or whatever the case may be but there's something about them and the way they trigger you that you require to be strong here if you're wanting to get away from them if you have ultimately decided that they are not what you need right now or that this energy you know this connection is not what you want for them page of swords clarity they need clarity they need to kind of get their self-esteem back it's time for them to get their self-esteem back it's time for them to hear a few hard truths first um but the truth, you know, not only do they need to hear the truth, but they also need to really uh, begin to sort of look at their own sense of insecurity or low self-esteem, which is for whatever reason is bringing them back to a relationship where you're clearly not giving anything to them and they feel betrayed, right? So they, this is not necessarily healthy for them either, right? Um, and so... Hangman comes in because here it's time to be, it's time to sort of move out of this kind of frozen, lazy behavior of not wanting more, not being inspired to do more with each other, with yourself, with your life. And just, uh, you know, get a bit inspired so that you can move up out of this. This just feels like a stagnant relationship and it feels like your person is also really in need of getting their head together because three of swords and then page of swords is letting you know that they themselves have gone through quite a lot of i want to say uh emotional toxicity here right not that it's your fault but it's not good for them to continue to be in a relationship where you're not there and you're not there death and the devil is you know how you see them the death has happened something the the, the thrill is gone for you clearly and so now it's just a case of you kind of being strong and not succumbing to sort of like, you know, feeling sorry or things like that. Show me some clarity for Aries and their person. Let's get some clarity. King of Pentacles, interesting. There's your Six of Swords. Time to move. Somebody has to move to here. Thank Commitment and Three of Cups. So friends, um, yeah. What they really desire is this commitment. Here, Grant, they may have wanted to get married to you or what have you, but again, time to leave. Six of Swords here, okay? Time to go to Stilla Waters. If the, if you see them as the devil, as someone who just really just gets you tied up and, and sort of pulled into your passions in a very sort of addicted way, in a very sort of um, uh, untransformative way, um, then it's time to move. Six of Swords comes out over Six of Swords. King of Pentacles. So for some of you, some things have changed because finances, finances have increased. You've risen up. You've, you've leveled up financially or st stability-wise, earning-wise, income-wise, environment-wise, uh, materially. And uh, that change, I think, to a certain degree is maybe spurring you on to move ahead it could be that to for a little while this was a relationship of convenience um <clears throat> you're a fan huh commitment right you both desire commitment but it's like you desire you want commitment for different things right you want to be much more committed to your life and your path and they want commitment for them in this relationship three of cups comes out that friends friendship and gathering with other friends and people who you trust and are loyal to will help in this situation for both of you. Both of you, <clears throat> you and your person, Aries, need your friends right now until you decide. Now, I'm not telling you to break up with them or what have you, but this is just a feeling that's there over the next seven days. And it feels to me like you both kind of need to some healing here, you know. Show me three energies for Aries for this seven-day period. Mayor spirit, damn. Spirit of the angel. Spirit of mermaids. Okay, well, there you go. <sighs> Deflection, vanity. There's, yeah, there's some mirror spirit here, some vanity going on. Spirit of the angel, guidance, blessings, and answering prayers. And spirit of mermaid, beauty, untamed and free. So there is, um, yeah, I think, I feel like Aries, perhaps you have found another muse 
Right, you found somebody that's really piqued your interest, and I feel like they're not showing up in this reading because it's not like a huge love thing. They may be showing up a little bit here with this Three of Swords. That may be the source of betrayal. But more than anything, just this desire for them, Spirit of the Mermaid, I think is what has kind of pushed you out the door here with your feelings. Yes, Mirror Spirit, there's going to be some kind of deflecting and projecting with each other. Um, but there's also guidance coming in and blessings coming in. And again, I think your friends are a source of your blessings and strength here. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it at that. This is your Twin Flame reading for the week. Next seven days, uh, today is Monday, July 26th. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll be doing the monthly Outlook August this week sometime, so do look out for that. But for right now, Aries, have a great week, and I shall see you guys later.